All right, we're here. Game one of the other side of Winter 70s. Samurai being last week's winner. He's already off to a strong start. The scary part about Raw, raw Drive Rush right now is that, you know, at the, at, you know, when you've just been sitting there watching vying for space like this, at any moment, the gap can be, you know, the gap can be closed on. You know, the, the gap can be instantly gone. And that's terrifying. And any stray hit can lead to just some crazy damage in corner carry as such. This is perfect? Oh, no. <laughs> K-Brad said, yeah, I'm not risking it. I don't want to get perfect on stream. But as I say that, round one immediately goes to Samurai. Oh, fortunate dive kick there. Could have got a conversion, but not up there there. Checking the dash there with a crushing medium kick. Yeah, the theme, the theme I think of early Street Fighter 6 success, if you noticed, is how much, how often are people able to make the most of their drive rush and really push their advantage and push it in the corner. And if they can close out sets and matches like this. Oh, he's on a tick of life. This could be bad because one misstep. Oh, that's a misdive kick right there. I know it when I see it. You see a kick like that, a random kick in the air like that, you know that's a misdive kick. Yeah. Match one. Match one goes to. First game goes to Samurai. But. K Brad is back in the business. I think the big thing that you'll ultimately recognize that you know Street Fighter 6 is this kind of is this kind of play where you see a lot of people just drawing buttons, trying to check each other's dashes, and you know, see predict someone else's button whiffing, and getting confirm off, confirm off that. Ooh, the whip dive kick there is going to lead to a lot of damage here from Samurai's end. Now Kimmy's in the corner. Samurai's keeping the space right now because he's know he's got the lead. He's no reason for to risk him getting himself back thrown in the corner or to or to over push his, his advantage. You know he wants he wants to be able to play a little more reactive to what Kabra wants because Kabra might be scared, might want to get out of there. Now as I say that, Kabra is the one that's holding the quarter, keeping Samurai there. Ooh, okay, I respect that. Really good punish there on the parry. It's a good weight the empty lane there. Oh, will he cash out? Nope, not quite. All right, now he's burnt out. So there's so Chip could kill him. I don't know if he's gonna play for that. Chilling killed bit by bit. Oh, but that's a little bit greedy there. Now they're both shipped out, but they're at 15 seconds. I wonder if it's gonna go to timer. Oh, all right. Yeah, the waiting game. Just, you know, it's a, a well-timed button there from Cabra to catch a Samurai trying to push something himself. Yeah, that's a really good punish. So, like, Samurai is a really big fan of, you know, using drive rush and neutral things. It's really close to space after kind of, like, jiggling around and making you guess and wait on, you know, what his option is going to be. But Cameron's awareness is great there and just immediately checking that with his dive kick. Right, perfect carry. Even though scaling is uh, tough, you still get the corner carry and a lot of damage. Oh. Oh, okay. All right, this is kind of a scary spot. So even though he has no drive rush to work with right now, drive gauge to work with right now, uh, Keeper still has to find a way to open up because, you know, Samurai can kind of just wait this out. And as I say that, the CI comes in. Is this even legal? Help her out. Never mind, she's got it. Now he's got drive gauge, it's scary because Keeper could go for something ballsy here because as I say that, he really wanted to try to push his manager with the plus button, but Samurai said, I'm not scared. I'm not giving you this. I'm killing you right here with an ODM. Really good responses overall. Samurai really making sure that he remains unpredictable, not letting K-Bride have a moment of peace to plan out his escape. Now he's keeping him locked down. And he's weaving back out a little bit. Making him think he's safe. And immediately going back in to apply even more pressure. 
Guys, if you ever want to learn from the top players, the biggest thing is not to make yourself into a mini game. Don't make yourself into a, like a, a one-trick pony that someone knows. Oh, once I know, once I know how to fight, play the mini game, I know what you're looking for, and then you're, you're you're just lost. You want to make yourself continuously predictable. Like even when it comes to pushing your advantage, you don't want to push it too far. Some you know you the other player knows that you want to get aggressive. You want to throw people off and make yourself make them uncomfortable. Keep the momentum in your court. Yeah, again, if people don't know, that is probably one of the hallmark of strong characters and just you know, top level play right now is that that drive rush, the medium kick drive rush, the crushing medium kick drive rush into a drive rush cancel combo. Yep. Buffer into drive rush behind that button. Oh. Oh, he's dead here. Uh, 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 uh. Wow, all right, strong start here for K-Red. He's about to fight back. He says, yep, I've got the download. I'm ready to take this back. It's going to be a reverse 3-0. Just watch me. Oh, really good catch on the land here. This watch is, side is back. Might kill here. No. Oh, a perfect KO. All right. Yeah, good response here. And he's still got Super Me to work with. So let's see if Samurai can close this out or if K-Rad is, is going to keep fighting back and you know, take the game back. Will he cash out early? No, he's not. He's going to keep it for probably a closing statement. Oh, the punish there on the parry. Yeah, the scariest part and the importance of parry is that any stray hit is not just, oh, it's a median, just, you know, a little bit of combo. It could lead to death because a level three, a drive rush can make those combos really long and just... Take a immense amount of health. And right now, yeah, K-Brad has to be really offensive here and, and try to get whatever scraps he can get. Uh-oh, he's got burnout now. He's not scared. We're gonna see a versus super maybe here from Samurai? Oh. Oh no, he's stunned. I think this kills. Yep. It ain't over. It ain't over. Game four. Yeah, I think that's the importance there of uh, people getting people into burnout and being careful with your own resources to not get burnout. Because you can see right there, with a lack of a, a invincible reversal besides super, K Red was just kind of slowly able to whittle away and open up Samurai's defense and to finish up with the super there. So really good stuff during the cave ride. But Samurai's just like, you know what? I'm not happy with that. I'm going to fight right back. Now it's your turn to beat you. Locked up in the corner. And it's done. Now we're back into to set point. So let's see if cave ride can bring him back again. Or if Samurai's going to, you know, get back on the road towards being this week's champion. Throw loops. Oh, he whips the punish there. Really quick button there from k to start the combo. Oh, I think that was the command grab from the Hooligan combination. It's unfortunate miss. k still, you know, keeping up the pressure. Not giving a moment for Samurai to relax. Oh, great response there. Everyone's right in back. Now we see the same situation as before. Samurai with no resources. I wonder if Samurai will be... Oh, there it is! Level 3! And he whips! See, okay, so that right there could have been the, the end of the set. And now we're in a situation where Kamer could definitely take make this into game five because he's got his super. He can cash out really early to push his advantage as early as possible. And, you know, Samurai kind of has to play a little bit from behind here. Oh, he might cash out here. Nope, he wants to save it. One wrong move. Samurai knows a one wrong move that uh, could mark death. k just can k probably wants to slow down a little bit. And Samurai is probably going to be a little more careful with this research because he knows, oh man, I'm on one drive gauge. So they're, you know, slowly allowing each other to regen their drive gauge so they can return to the game that is Street Fighter 6. Oh, and he's dead. Oh, he's not. That's unfortunate whiff. He's burning a lot. All right. 
Maybe he gets something out of this. So this is the scary part. He's burned himself again, and any straight hit, any straight hit here will lead to death. Yep, chip damage. And I think Samurai was was ready for that and looking out for it and hoping to get something out of that with a with a super reversal. But you know, K Brad patiently walking in and getting in there and gets it. And this might be a reverse 3 0, guys. Samurai going for this tried and true. The grab, the, the drive rush ne neutral to grab. It's never been seen before. Ooh, now we see Samurai a little more. Ooh, oh, okay. This, that was. I was about to say, Samurai is extremely methodical with, you know, the use of his fireballs and buttons and just keeping him at the exact space that he wanted. And as they say, they throw with a risky ass fireball. Sorry, not fireball. DP. And took a little bit of damage himself, but he's still got the lead. Oh, and I think he's one uh, sandblast away from death. So Skate Red is slowly walking in. Seeing there's any moment that he can open up. Samurai says, yeah, I'm not afraid of taking the throw. Or rather, I'm not going to let you have the throw. I'm not afraid of it. I'm just going to just you know, give you a tap on the knees. But like I said earlier, even if we see him again, Samurai takes that round one early, you know, takes it early round one, but Kevin always finds some way to make it back in. Yes. Well, this could be match set point. He's on his way. Is he going to cash up with level three? No, not quite. I think, yeah, I guess he wants to save it for an out of the guaranteed kill. Now we're in a really scary spot. And he's burnt himself out. Oh, this is very bad. One wrong move. Samurai can definitely go for something gutsy here or just, you know, clean it up cleanly. Yeah. Gabriel put on an excellent show there. Almost bringing it back from a 2-0 deficit, but uh Samurai showing that why why he he was he was the champion. Why he's playing who he's playing. 